Canada. Hi. Uh, so I basically wanted to do my makeup, but I didn't want to talk. Uh, I have this look that I don't know who did it on Alexa Demi, but I'm obsessed with it. So that's what I did the other day to go out to, uh, I was gonna say dinner. We didn't go to dinner. We went out for drinks. Anyway, um, I like, I used the Tatcha water cream. I'm gonna talk through this and it's probably not gonna line up and I don't really get, I don't really care. I used the Tatcha water cream and my skin ended up being like a little too hydrated, but I also, for whatever reason, um, was experiencing a lot of dryness <laughs> in like the center of my face because I've probably been overdoing it with the tretinoin. Anyway, all of the products that I'm applying for whatever reason, I, I don't know, I got like creasing on my lid and uh, I went, I ended up doing, using two eye primers. So you saw me use the, the Dominique Cosmetics one and then I went over top of that with the Urban Decay one because I don't know, I was just like, yeah, for some reason things were off. Um, but whatever, I don't really care. Like it ended up looking really good. But but honestly, I should have prepped my under eyes a little bit more. Like I probably should have used the dewy skin cream under my eyes. And for whatever reason, I didn't. I don't know why. Also probably shouldn't have used powder, whatever. Uh, that's one of the reasons that, like I didn't necessarily know what I was doing. I just knew that I really wanted to recreate this look that Alexa Demi wore. I loved that it was like cool toned really pretty. I've been pretty much using her face recently as a guide for my like contour, <laughs> like placement and stuff like that, which I've kind of adjusted again. I, the, okay, here's the thing. The nice thing about doing your makeup on camera and then editing it is it allows you to step back from yourself and really see the way that it looks. And I'm seeing like my placement in real time and how it turns out on camera and how it ends up looking in like different lighting and stuff, obviously throughout the night. Um, so you can, I don't know if you can really tell, but I kind of adjusted the contour to, uh, placement. I don't know. I'll do, I can do something on it like more in depth later on. It's just like, I've come out with so many freaking contour videos at this point. People are gonna be like, bro, just like stick with something. You know what I mean? You can see it here. It's a little bit different. It's just refining those little things based on like your face, my laptop's gonna explode, uh, based on your face shape and just like what ends up looking most flattering. And it takes, it just takes some like back and forth and trial and error, obviously. Um, this was very therapeutic though. I have to say, I really enjoyed doing my makeup. I think one of my favorite things to do is recreations whether it's like a glam makeup look that a celebrity's, wear celebrity's wearing or if it's like a painting or something. I think uh, that's a strong suit of mine, recreations. So I don't know, I've gotten some suggestions from you guys, but also just keep in mind that um, I don't, I'm not gonna do it if I don't want to. <laughs> Sorry, but it is my channel. So I have veto power, you know what I mean? Uh, basically, essentially all of these products are products that you see all the time, you know? So, I don't know, whatever, you know, Fenty matchstick. I lost my NYX, I had like a NYX contour stick that I was using for a really long time, which I actually prefer over the Rare Beauty one. Not that, like the Rare Beauty one is really nice. It's a very um, lightweight, creamy formula, blends nicely, but the color, I'm using the lightest one, the color is ever so slightly like too red, like a little too like orangey red, a little too terracotta, which is, it's fine, it's fine, but, um. And honest, to be completely honest, that Ofra foundation is a little too yellow, like ever so slightly too yellow. So my whole face was just like, a it was just like a little bit off, you know, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. I'm going in with Bavarian cream. I hadn't used this in a really long time, but I wanted to do some highlighting and I don't typically layer a lighter weight concealer over a heavier one, just in terms, I don't know why, but like just in terms of painting, like, you wouldn't put watercolor on top of oil paint. You know what I mean? So I don't know, that's how I think about it. But because my I was just experiencing like quite a bit of dryness and I don't know, if you really, I, you can probably see this, it depends on like what you're watching it on, but I had like a bit of flaking. It just, it looks like irritation from like tretinoin. I've just, I keep, I keep forgetting that I can't just put that shit in the center of my face for some reason. I don't know why. Like you'd think I would learn at some point. 
Uh, I'm setting underneath my eyes just like very lightly with the Halo Glow Powder by e.l.f. Which does give like, it has actually quite a bit of reflect, which is kind of nice. I don't know if this is still available. I love this palette from ColourPop. It's actually probably one of my favorites, Stone Cold Fox. It has like every color that you want. That's more of like a, like a cooler tone shadow color, but it's not like they have, they have the cooler toned ones, but they also have those nice like in between shades for like a multitude of skin tones. This was honestly kind of a mistake. I went in with, um, the matte cream and I placed this like, like in my inner corner and then kind of everywhere. And then I ended up taking it a little bit onto my lower lash line. Uh, and like, obviously my, my eyes were just like kind of dry. So the matte really enhanced that, which was kind of annoying whatever but like that's how her makeup was so i wanted to do it you know what i mean uh we also like she and i just have such different under eyes like she has like a, a quite a nice like um tight lash line and smooth under eye and i have you know obviously it's more defined like i have that under eye bag area or whatever the fuck you want to call it like i have all those lines so adjusting i, I wanted to stay as true to her look as i possibly could but if it were just me doing it for me and not doing a recreation, I probably would have smoked my lash, my lower lash line a little bit more just to, like here I'm going in with a tiny bit of the first color that I used. I don't know why I didn't show. This is a slightly like darker, cooler toned gray. I don't know why I didn't show that, but obviously just building up contrast. I mean, maybe it's, maybe it's obvious. The first one was like a little more neutral, uh, cool toned. This one is like more of a, a like a bluer toned gray. Obviously, you know, detail, brushes get smaller. And then I'm taking a little bit of that gray on my lower lash line, just for a little something. She has, she looked like she had like a little something, you know, obviously black shadow. This has been one of my favorite things recently because I'm getting older. My eye shape is changing. You know, one of my eyelids folds a little bit closer to my outer corner than the other one. So a winged liner is becoming more and more difficult. Powder is just like a lot easier to use. It's a little bit more forgiving. I'm going back and forth and like kind of erasing, you know, but this tiny little wing from the very outer corner of my eye, kind of like swooping up um, ever, pretty much ever since I did that like Marilyn tutorial, it, this has been like my favorite. It's just been much more flattering than keeping it up a little bit higher on my eye where I have, you know, I just end up with more like creasing Honestly, I kind of wish I'd gone in with this a little bit more, the Makeup by Mario Bright, whatever it's called, eye pencil. I was like, I don't want it to be too bright. I just didn't want it to be like too intense. So I didn't, but I probably could have used a little bit more. Oh, and because my freaking skin was so like wet for some reason, my eye, my eye primer, it just wasn't doing the job. Like I mixed those two eye primers and just wasn't doing the job. I just, I got creasing honestly like all night. It wasn't like so bad, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. Uh, as far as setting powders go, I really like this House Labs one. It's like pretty lightweight, relatively blurring, keeps shit in place, you know? This is some Tarte blush palette, I don't even know. I'll, it'll be linked, you know? I was just trying to find like colors that looked similar to hers, obviously. PS brought back the uh, old school backdrop. Went in with some setting spray because my skin was dry, bro. My skin was dry. I never really use a setting spray anymore. Paris soap, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Oh, you know what? I filmed a couple videos that I haven't uploaded yet that, that were filmed before this. So you may see my like the more busy like magazine background. And then also for whatever reason, that like gross fleshy colored background. <laughs> it's like this really pretty light peach, but for some reason it was translating as like just nasty. I just hated the way it looked. So I guess we're gonna stick with this uh, salmon-y peach color. Um, I have personally been preferring my eyebrows a little thinner. I don't know. It's so funny to look back at like old photos um, and see how much your like makeup has, your makeup style has evolved. This new brow tint pen from Melt is super nice, by the way. They only have one color. It's like essentially supposed to be universal. And to be completely honest, I hope they come out with like a couple more because I would like one that's ever so slightly lighter. It was like a little bit dark, but it was fine. 
lashes. I, I'm going in with um, some little individual falsies, which is why I'm just using like a regular old mascara. Uh, I can't necessarily like recommend or not. The mascara has peptides or something. It's like supposed to be healthier, but like my, my lashes fell immediately, but I knew I was using these guys from Kiss, these little falscara segments, which are super nice. And just like, I feel like they, they na totally nailed her lash look. So, um, yeah, I don't know, they're good. Kiss has really good lashes, dude. They're some of the OGs. Ashton, this was a recommendation from someone. Uh, on me, it's a, it's ever so slightly like warmer than what they were, they were, I think they recommended it as a dupe for Topist by Lime Crime. Um, it's ever so slightly dark and warm or like more brown toned, I guess. Uh, but it's a beautiful color, like I really love it. I've been wearing it a lot as like a nice contour lip liner. Um, yeah, dude, it's really pretty. Makes a statement. Nice for, nice for the winter months. And then I'm going with Sao Paulo by Ofra, which Ofra has some of my favorite liquid lipsticks. Like the formula is just like so comfy, comfy. Um, and what a beautiful color. I think I probably gone, could have gone a little darker with this liquid lip color, uh, but it's, it's always hard to tell. Like, I think, actually, I don't know. I'm assuming Alexa Demi is like, I'm pretty freaking fair skinned. So I'm assuming that she's like, um, a little deeper skinned than I am. Anyway, nice lip combo. Love it. That's the finished look, you guys. My laptop is gonna explode. I hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know if there are other recreations. I know that like people don't necessarily prefer voiceovers, but sometimes they're more fun for me. So uh, yeah, whatever. Do the things. Like, subscribe, comment. Just, just do the things. Just, I'm here for you. So can you be here for me? <laughs> okay. Bye.